So hello everyone, sorry if I look a bit of a mess right now, I've literally just got in and I'm in a rush because I'm going to go off to Pets at Home to see if I can get my two Dwarf Hapsters, I'm either getting Russians or Robos and I just called up my local Pets at Home and they don't have any in, we've called the second nearest Pets at Home and they do have some hamsters in, so I'm just going to go there now with my mum and my sister and they're waiting for me in the car, I quickly came back home to get my camera and set up the carrier case, so I have the cage already set up which I did from a little while ago, this is the um, travel case this is actually for guinea pigs but I felt like it would be better for the hamsters because they'll have more space so fingers crossed I do get them and I'll update you guys in a little bit so bye I did manage to get two female dwarf hamsters and I'm extremely happy. One's a sort of golden-y colour and the other one is just the usual greyish colour. The yellowy one I've named Cupcake but the grey one doesn't yet have a name. So earlier I was in such a rush because I wasn't actually planning on getting them today. I was already out with my sister and my mum and my mum said we might as well just go to the pet shop and get the hamsters today. So I called up Pets at Home to see if they had any female dwarf hamsters in because I was supposed to go yesterday but we called up and and they didn't have any females in but they was getting new hamsters in stock that afternoon and they were going up for sale the next day so I called them today and they didn't get any female dwarf hamsters in decided to have a look and see where the next nearest pets at home was and it wasn't too far away so I called up and they did have some dwarf hamsters in and there was a group of four Russian dwarf hamsters and they were so adorable so there was three grey ones and there was one yellowy like goldenish one so I picked a yellowish one and I've named her cupcake and I picked one of the grey ones but I haven't given her a name yet so they're still actually in the carrier case because they're fast asleep and I didn't really want to um, disturb them you can't really see them too well but they're fast asleep they're just sleeping next to each other they're so cute I feel like if you actually bring a carrier case instead of using one of the boxes they provide you at pet shops the hamster seems a lot less stressed out so that's why I've just left them in here so I'm just going to give you guys a really quick update on my January subscription boxes parcel came yesterday with a bunch more items so I've got this paper bed in which is going to go in both the small and the medium box you saw my hamster haul the other day they're and you would have seen everything already and then I just have all of the hamster bowl under this box I just have all of the items that arrived yesterday so I have this rosewood board and breaker with these nibble sticks and I ordered 10 of these but they actually sent me 11 so I'm just going to give these to the dwarf hamsters um, and then I ordered some potty litter which is for the dwarf hamsters and I've never used potty litter before I normally use sand but I thought I would get potty litter for the dwarfs because they're definitely going to be using their sand for a sand bath whereas Isabella my Syrian she doesn't use the sand for a sand bath so I've just been using it as potty litter for over a year now and I've got this really cute blue hideaway which is going in the medium box I got this um, extendable tube which is going in the medium box and I thought this was going to be smaller because I have one it's not this big um, I think this is like rat sized or something I'm not too sure and then I have this Himalayan like salt rock things i got another pack of the extra small whimsies tunes and you get 48 in this bag so i sold two more of the boxes yesterday so i literally just have one box left if you're interested on getting your hands on the last january subscription box then check out the description and this is what isabella's cage currently looks like isabella's my female syrian hamster cage definitely needs a clean out it's looking a bit messy i mean there's pretty much poo everywhere over on this side and she's just in her Christmas pudding house sleeping at the moment so I'm going to clean her cage out probably in a couple of days I'm not too sure what theme I'm going to give her yet so I think it's about time I put the um girls into the cage Never gonna I've just put the elephant hideaway in between the two hamster wheels and they're just sleeping in there 
They're so adorable. One thing I forgot to do when I was in store was ask the lady what they was feeding their dwarfs on in the shop. I do have a dwarf hamster mix for them. This is the one by JR Farr. Hopefully it will be okay with me just giving them this food straight away. I'm just going to have to see how they um, react to it. I'm just going to put some into their food bowls in a minute and I'm also going to give them a few of the science selective pellets I'll probably just put one or two in there um, I normally give these to Isabella and I feed Isabella on Harry Hamster I don't have that many treats anymore I got rid of a bunch of my treats here I just have some of the odor care treats have some linseed I have some sunflower seeds and I also have um, some broken up pieces of a dandelion flavoured Easter egg which my friend Abby got me from Pepper at home and I just have some monkey nuts, the packet of the um, Odecare treats, I have some measuring spoons, I have a packet of the snacks and share vegetable bar, this is a backup packet I have, I really love giving this to um, Isabella, she really really loves it and it is quite healthy as well and I also have these treat sticks, I have never given Isabella a treat stick so I really need to give one of these to her. I just have some yogurt drops back here in this container, there's quite a lot in there but she very 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 rarely actually gets them. I really like this mix, it has a great variety of different bits and bobs and as it's for dwarf hamsters the pieces are a lot smaller than the pieces you'll find in a um, hamster mix for a Syrian hamster so I'm just going to give them a spoonful each for now and see how they get along with that and this doesn't have mealworms in it this has I think shrimp, beef, fish, chicken and cheese so there's quite a nice variety of stuff in here and I'm just going to give them one or two pieces of the science selective pellets so, so like I said I'm just going to have to um watch them on this food hopefully it's okay so I'm just about to put the food in and I noticed that cupcake is actually awake I wonder who's going to be first to actually um step out I feel like the grey one might come out first before cupcake does I really need to give the grey one a name because I don't like calling her the grey one I need to think of a cute name for her but it looks like cupcake is going to go back to sleep she does look quite tired Cupcake is still pretty much fast asleep in the hideaway, but this little one, I knew she was going to come out first. And if you can hear any noise in the background, that's just Isabella drinking from her water bottle. Hello, Isabella's just woken up as well. Her cage needs a clean, so ignore all of the mess. Not too sure what theme I'm going to give her just yet. So it's now just after nine o'clock. Little grey hamster's just come out of hiding underneath the bedding. I think she was sleeping down there because she was underneath the bedding in the corner for at least an hour and her sister is also awake. Hopefully she'll come out soon because her sister's running around. She's pretty active now so hopefully that will encourage her to step out. I still can't think of a name for her but she's so cute and she's so tiny and she's so fast as well. Oh look Oh, Cupcake's venturing out for the first time. Oh, she is so cute. I haven't seen her in ages. Hello, Cupcake. Oh, she is so cute. <laughs> oh, where's the other one gone? She's digging away somewhere. I can see the bedding moving, but I can't actually see her. I see where Cupcake's gonna go. She looks so tiny on the wheel. So she's gone under the bed now. Her sister did exactly the same thing. She went in the little section underneath the bottle and started digging away. So it's now 19 minutes past 10 and Cupcake's woken up and she's just sitting in her food bowl eating some food. So she's eating from this bowl and her sister ate from this bowl previously. So I wonder if they're gonna go back to the same 
food bowl. I've never had a pair of the wolf hamsters before so if you have let me know if they normally go back to the same food bowl. This little one was sleeping down there somewhere under the bedding and her sister is pretty much nowhere to be seen. The last time I saw her she was around this section underneath the bedding so I'm guessing she's fallen asleep there. Was oh, she so cute? Oh, Isabella's awake again. She's drinking water. Hello. Girls are pretty much gone to sleep. If you want in the comments you can leave some suggestions for a name for the grey hamster because I really 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 don't know what to call her. So I will be doing a couple of more vlogs on the girls just so you can see how they're settling in so I can update you guys and also check out my Instagram that will be linked down below in the description because I'll be posting quite a few pictures of them. If you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up, big comment down below and bye for now guys and I'll see you in my next video. I promise I won't let go